welcome and Merry Christmas. I'm so glad we're able to worship together on this Christmas Eve. Today we are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior. We'll take some holy moments to set aside just for God. Let us prepare our hearts and our minds to do so now. Throughout this season, we have lived, waited, and remembered the hope, peace, joy, and love of God found in Christ. Tonight, we gather together and light the candles in honor of the Christ child. With the birth of Christ, salvation has drawn near. The God who ordered the chaos of the universe has come down into the chaos of our world. The world which was once with God at the beginning came down and lived with us. While we were yet living in the valley of the shadow of death, the light of new life burst forth. We light this candle for Christ. On this night, we remember God has come in the Christ child. Today's scripture reading comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 16. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world shall be taxed. 
and this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went out to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and lied him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there is with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good news. The Messiah is born. Jesus, the one who will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Rose of Sharon, the Bright Morning Star, the Son of God, the Savior, Christ the Lord, Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus. And to his mother, he is Yeshua. I bring you good tidings of great joy. Unto us is born today our Savior, Jesus Christ, little Yeshua. When each of my three sons were babies, I would spend hours cuddling them as they dozed, rocking them when they fussed, kissing their soft heads, touching every pink finger and each chubby toe. While I held my babies, time stood still. I got lost in the moment. I sang to them. I marveled at them. I adored them. Tonight, I feel compelled to do the very same thing. Yet my boys are no longer infants, they are full-grown men. And while I still adore them, tonight I feel compelled to marvel at a different child. Yeshua, who nestles down in the warm golden hay. Yeshua, who coos as his mother holds him close. Yeshua, who reaches a soft little hand to grasp his father's work-worn finger. Yeshua, a tiny newborn child. Yeshua, he is God-made flesh. Yeshua, he is the savior of the world. Yeshua, he is the one who taught us to love others as we love ourselves, to forgive our neighbor countless times, to refrain from casting judgment, to accept even the outcasts. Yeshua, this is Jesus Christ who died on the cross in pain and agony for my sins and for yours. But tonight, I am compelled to come to the manger to see Yeshua. 
I am compelled to cuddle him as he dozes, to rock him as he fusses, to kiss his soft head and caress each finger and chubby toe. Tonight, I am compelled to st spend quiet time adoring baby Yeshua, my Lord, a tiny child. So let's set aside our schedules and our checklists for a minute. Let's not worry about the presents we have yet to wrap or the list of items to prepare for Christmas dinner. Tonight, I invite you to get lost. Get lost in the moment as time stands still. Sing to the Christ child, marvel at him, adore him. Christ stepped out of his heavenly realm, left his throne above to become human. I wonder if it felt strange for God to take on human form. As I get older, I notice that when I step out of the swimming pool, I suddenly feel limited again. Gravity takes hold, and I no, no longer feel as spry as I did when buoyant in the water. Did Jesus feel that way when he left heaven to be born as a child? Yet God chose to become human, taught us how to live and love, and then died a horrible death. But the story does not end there, however. Jesus arose from death, and three days later, he conquered death once and for all, so that everyone who knows Jesus and who believes in him will rise as well, having eternal life. This is the source of joy for us. This is the promise of peace in the midst of pain and hope in our grief and loss. This is the warmth when we feel chilled and our light when the world seems dark. Believe it, God loves us. God came to us. He came as a little cuddly, wiggly baby named Yeshua. Tonight, let's get lost in the moment as we adore little Yeshua. Come, come and see. Come, let us adore him, Yeshua, Christ the Lord. And all of God's adoring children said, Amen. Jesus, born to set thy people free from our sins and fears, release us. Let us find our rest in thee. Israel, strength and consolation, hope of all the earth, the world, dear desire. Strength and con.
Jesus said, I am the light of the world, and whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but have eternal life. When we share the light of Christ together on Christmas Eve, we take a candle and start with the Christ candle at the center of our Advent wreath. And from that one flame, it goes from another to another to another until the entire sanctuary is illuminated with the light of Christ. As we remember those images, let us pass the light of Christ to one another. Let us pray. Light of the world, you came into our darkness. Show us how to follow you. In your name we pray, amen. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.